Rock and Learn. We're off to the Cellular Learning Center. Um, okay. But where is it? I don't see a door. Well, take a closer look. I think I may have a little problem with this. Where are we? Someplace really small. Microscopic, even. Here at the Cellular Learning Center, we're going to learn about plant and animal cells. And you might be surprised that there are more similarities than differences between them. You mean I'm kind of like a plant? Your cells share many features with plant cells, but there are important differences, too. For instance, only plant cells have cell walls on the outside, which are made of cellulose. The cell walls help the plant cells maintain their shape. Both plant and animal cells have a cell membrane surrounding the cell. It allows some things to come in and out of the cell. And both cells have cytoplasm, which is a jelly-like substance that contains the organelles, the tiny organs of the cell. Both of these cells have a nucleus, which is where all the genetic material is stored. This genetic material is made of molecules called DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid. The nucleus contains all the information for running the cell and making new cells. The nucleus is kind of like the control center. Every cell in an organism with a nucleus has the same genetic material, or DNA. But there are many different types of cells. How can that be? Each type of cell is able to perform a different function because certain parts of the genetic instructions are turned off and others are turned on. Now I see why it's called the control center. Only animal cells have organelles called centrioles, which aid in cell division. Animal cells have two centrioles that are perpendicular to each other. That means they're at right angles to each other. Bravo! <laughs> Both plant and animal cells have ribosomes. Ribosomes are important because they help put proteins together. The Golgi bodies take the proteins that the ribosomes make and package them so they are easier to move. Golgi! The endoplasmic reticulum, or ER for short, is the transportation network. It takes the protein packages from the Golgi bodies and moves them to where they are needed around the cell. Some of the ER is smooth, and some is rough. The rough ER has ribosomes on the outside. Both animal and plant cells get their energy from the mighty mitochondria. Plants have one really large organelle called a vacuole that fills a big part of the cell. In a plant cell, the vacuole primarily holds water, but can also hold nutrients and waste. When a plant has too little water in its vacuoles, the plant wilts. Do animal cells have vacuoles? Yes, but they only have very small ones. Their only roles are to digest things in the cell and get rid of cell waste. Do you remember what the plants have that's green and helps them with photosynthesis? Sure I do, Marco. It's chlorophyll. Smart boy! Chlorophyll is stored in the organelles of the plant cells that are called chloroplasts. Lysosomes are a common organelle in animal cells, but aren't found in many plant cells. They help get rid of waste in animal cells and help with cell defense. Boy, cells are just packed full of stuff. Okay, Kevin, let's see how much you remember about the differences between the animal cell and the plant cell. Sure thing! The plant cell has a cell wall and chloroplasts. This animal cell doesn't have those. Second, the vacuoles in the plant cell are larger than the vacuoles in the animal cell. And finally, the animal cell has centrioles and lysosomes. But this plant cell doesn't. Excellent! It's time we got growing! Huh? Oh yeah, we do need to size things up. <laughs> You're right! Here we go! 